Hello, today I am answering rumors that are going around about mom and I, and I'm going to give you the truth. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we put up new videos. Hello, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, where you can eat better, spend less. We have a new hardcover with full color pictures and over 1,200 recipes and tips to help you save money on your grocery bill. Check it out at livingonadime.com. Today's video is addressing how we ate during the Penny Pension Mama series. Now, there's lots of rumors that go around about us. We just ignore them all. People have way too much time on their hands, but it's not a big deal. But I thought I would answer some of these questions because a lot of people might be wondering, so I thought I would just say it. One of them was that we used the church food pantry for our food. So when mom was living on $500 a month, that we used the church pantry and that's how we did our food. So mom, before she got sick, after my dad had left, and before she got sick, was working three jobs, $1,000 a month, $500 we lived on and $500 went to pay off her debt. Well, my dad's debt that her name was on and our house. So over five years, she paid off my dad's debt and our house between the $500 a month that she put on all the debts and then a few things that she had sold. $35,000 was paid off in five years. The question going around is how did we eat? Well, that's why we wrote our Dining on a Dime cookbook, because for the majority of that time, we paid for our groceries out of that $500 a month. Mom made it work. I think some people where they're getting confused with the church pantry thing is that twice we had people after we got sick bring us food. One time... Uh, it was like a youth group, singles group type thing. I think a singles group went grocery shopping for us. We were really sick. They came over and brought that for us and they brought us some good groceries. I think that was maybe before we, was that before we got sick? I don't, I don't remember if it was before or after we got sick. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But the second time was when we were sick, when we first got sick with our chronic fatigue syndrome. We were really, really sick. None of us could get out of bed. We were literally living on cereal and milk. It was pretty bad. So one of our friends, or our only friend at the time, <laughs> our friend told the church that we were all going to, and the ladies group decided to bring some food over. Well, what they brought was they had cleaned out the schools at the church's had a school, cleaned out the school's freezer, and it was inedible, freezer-burned food from, like, years ago, like, six, eight years ago, and it was just awful. We were all excited. We hadn't eaten anything for cereal for a long time. I mean, we, I shouldn't say nothing, but, I mean, we really couldn't fix meals very well, so we ate a lot of cereal. <laughs> And so we were super excited to have a meal. Came, I mean, it was just encrusted in freezer burn stuff. You know, the freezer burn ice crystals. So those are the two times that we actually got help with food. But mom, the rest of the time, just was very good at grocery shopping. That's why we were out dining on a dime. Because we wanted people to know you don't have to live on beans and rice to save money on your grocery bill. Yes, a family of six now in 2021 can live on $400 a month, $350 to $400 a month for their grocery bill. If you shop right and you cook meals at home that are easy with ingredients that you already have on hand. And so mom was just really good at doing that. One point we were get somebody we don't never did find out who it was. Somebody was sending us seven dollars a week, and a lot of weeks that seven dollars would be all we had for groceries. And you can say, oh well, that was in the late 1980s. Yes, it was. But even if you double it for inflation now, 
I don't know many people that could feed three people in a household on $14 for a week's worth of food. Now, it wasn't every week, but there were some weeks that was all we had. Shopped at discount bins. So we, we went to the discount aisle, got bread on sale, got or clearance, got milk on clearance. We didn't buy expensive meats like steak. We bought hamburger when it was on clearance for 50 cents a pound. We would get chicken when it was on clearance for 25, 30 cents a pound for chicken thighs with bone in. We never, I don't remember ever, ever eating boneless, skinless chicken breasts or boneless, skinless chicken thighs. As a matter of fact, now I still kind of have a hard time buying boneless, skinless because I know there's such a cheaper alternative when you buy the bone-in bags of the fryer pieces that are the thighs and the drumsticks. You can get it for 39 cents a pound. But we have the money that we can do that now, but it's still so ingrained in me that you don't eat Boneless, chick, boneless, skinless chicken breasts because that's the expensive chicken. <laughs> and so she just was really super careful in how we ate. We didn't overeat. None of us were overweight. I didn't get overweight until in 1991, the doctor put me on antidepressants to try and help my chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. And I put on 50 pounds in three months and just ballooned. And I've never been able to get it off since then. Now, I will admit, I do like sweets, so I could try harder. That's my choice. But what I'm saying is we were never overweight. We, until we got the chronic fatigue syndrome, we really weren't sick that often. We were really pretty healthy. And so what would some of our dinner, breakfasts and dinners look like? So breakfast would maybe be a bowl of cereal or a bowl of oatmeal or scrambled eggs and toast. We would have lunch. We would have a sandwich with just one piece of lunch meat on it. Maybe some lettuce and mayonnaise, mustard if we wanted. Maybe if tomatoes, if she got a good deal on tomatoes, we might put a tomato on there. We would have grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato soup. Chicken soup, or yeah, I mean, chicken salad or tuna salad, we would put those on crackers or in a sandwich. For dinners, we would have bone in chicken thighs or drumsticks. Like I said, mom got them for like 25 cents a pound back then, but you can still get them for 39 cents a pound. I got some just the other day for 39 cents a pound. So she would have like, she would roast some chickens. Uh, thighs and drumsticks we would have that with an orange and maybe some rice we would have stew with homemade cornbread or stew with crackers we would have chili with cornbread and crackers we would have our cheeseburger roll that's in dining on a dime cookbook that my son now just absolutely loves I make it all the time on the show all these recipes I'll put in the description below but we didn't overeat. She would make a batch of cookies and we would eat a batch of cookies for several days. But we didn't just go through the pantry eating everything we wanted. Mom fixed three meals and snacks for us. When we got home from school, she'd have a snack waiting for us of um, apples and peanut butter or crackers with jelly and peanut butter. Those types of things. She would have a snack or cookies or whatever. But we never drank things like orange juice, uh, apple juice, grape juice, none of the juices. We never had juice. We never had pop. We never had anything like that. Never. Capri Suns. Oh my goodness. That would never happen. So those are the kinds of things we eat. But just to dispel the rumor... We have never used a church pantry except for those two times when the church did bring us meals when we were sick. I don't know how that even got started, I guess, from that story. But that's what we did for food when mom was living on $500 a month. Guys, if you want to save money on your grocery bill, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. It is on sale right now, 25% off. We will see you guys next time. Visit us at livingonadime.com.